Over the past decade, the rush to become a social media sensation has grown stronger. Each day, it appears as though folks are attempting the craziest stunts to become the next big thing. Keep an eye out for your desires as your next daring act could land you in cuffs. That's exactly what happened to Yusuf Aircat, aka Fusi. The kids are listening to me. Andrew Tate invited me to Romania. I'm a chosen messenger. Y'all just arrested me. You don't know what you just did. This incident unfolded during a late night stream on Fusi's 24 hour live stream, during which an individual called in, toyed with them, and subsequently leaked where he was staying live on air. Yo, say it one more time. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. We're coming. Say it one more time. After that, he proceeded to have an unhinged call with the cops on the phone, and it led to this moment right here. You know if he was on his way right now and he had a gun, I would be dead and he would still be asking me questions. Send the fucking cops. There's a gun to my head right now. There's a gun to my head. Help, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Ma'am, he left. Ma'am, he left. There's a gun to my head. Help, help. Get them. Help, bye. Ma'am, intercontinental. What's my room number? Help, tell me. 2027. Fusi's security guard gets approached by the cops and he begins to explain the situation at hand. I'm, 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 his, I'm one of his private guards. We got another private guard downstairs. Yeah. Who is he? He's a big time YouTuber. He's got like 7 million followers. He's like very important in the stream world. Yeah, he do, he's on a kick and all that. He's got like 7 million followers. He's worth like 7, 7 million dollars. Okay. The officers began to gather more information from Fusi's security and the hotel manager. He's been live streaming ever since. And they started threatening each other, giving each other help, trying to so I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you guys are gonna take him to uh, Baker Acting. Is then the 911 call? Because like he's off his he's off his meds. Yeah, the guy's off his meds. You could speak to him, but this is why I got Atlas VPN to sponsor this video. Atlas VPN safeguards your data with powerful encryption, ensuring that your personal information stays confidential. Whether you're browsing from home, on your phone, or connecting to public Wi-Fi, Atlas VPN keeps your online activity secure. This is more than just a VPN. It blocks all malicious links, ads, and trackers, and notifies you when someone is trying to steal your data. Right now, Atlas VPN is at a huge discount. This means you can get online protection for just $1.76 cents per month and an additional six months extra with 30 days money back guarantee. It's only gonna be here for so long, so make sure you check it out in the description below. My favorite feature about Atlas VPN is the fact that I can watch different Netflix shows depending on where I set my location to. So for example, let's say there's a Netflix show that I wanna watch, but it's not available in my home country. I can just change my location on Atlas VPN, so let's do it to London, for example. Then refresh Netflix, and it'll show me shows that I can watch from my current country location. Again, guys, Atlas VPN is running a huge disc Discount. You can get it right now for $1.70 per month and an additional six months extra with 30 days money back guarantee. So if you're interested, make sure you check down the link down below in the description. And now let's get back to the video. Two officers walk into the room with Fusi to get more insight as to what led to the situation. Fusi then goes on a rant in great detail and explains what's been happening to him as of lately. A guy calls my, he calls my mom yesterday and says, I'm going to slit your throat. He calls to my mom. Didn't know my mom's throat. Okay. He calls my room today. Hi, it's me again. Remember me? He posted a video. He was on live yesterday calling my mom. I have his face, everything recorded. He goes, remember me? He threatened my life tonight. He said exactly where I am out loud. Room, everything. I literally told him, if I see you, I'm sticking a knife nine inches in your neck and I'm slatting it down your penis. He gave me his address. How does he know where you're staying at? I don't, he's a stalker. Okay, and who is this guy? I don't, don't know fucking know. So how do you want us to look for him if you don't know where he's I at? have his address! At this point, he starts to suppress the officers by belittling them for not moving as fast as he thinks they should be moving to handle a situation like this. And he, look, you guys don't even seem like you're serious about this. Are you guys going to do we're, anything? We're recording. That's what I'm recording. What are you guys doing? Are you going to arrest him? Why isn't their cars out looking for him right now? I have his address. What's his address? Yo, where's the security? You guys are dumb as fuck, man. You guys are literally dumb as fuck. 
Oh, yeah. Hey, record this. Security, come in here now. Yo, for my protection, come in here. He can't come in? Y'all are fucked. I'm suing all y'all. He then goes on these delusional, egotistical rants where he explains his life story over and over to these officers. I've been getting swatted everywhere. Bomb threats. Fans come everywhere. They're trying to stop my cell phone. Listen, they're trying to stop my train. God is leading this shit, okay? I'm spreading a message. I'm powerful. I'm fucking powerful. My life is in danger and you arrest a Palestinian Muslim who's viral? Are y'all dumb or are you stupid? These are the last words that Fusi would usher before promptly being escorted out of his hotel room. Upon leaving, his anger and frustration went through the roof and he took it out on the officers. Y'all f***ed up tonight. I'm looking at you in the eye and telling you, you know you did. You know. You know. Which one of you f***s want to touch me? I bet it's you. You are going to touch me. Look at that. Ah. Uh, uh, don't let your dick get hard, you fucking bitch. You arrested the wrong dude, dog. I'm worth $77 million. It don't matter, you put arrested on me. You arrested me, you didn't believe me, you walked out of the room. I have it on video, 70,000 people yeah, saw it. Hey, fire this fuck, I'm suing his ass. It's important to note that Fusi isn't being arrested or transported to a county jail. Instead, he's being expedited to a mental facility because he isn't mentally stable. Why did you laugh when you said I have no mental health thing? What'd you hear? So you're gonna believe it from random people on the internet and not the person in the back? You're getting fired. Allahu la ilaha illa huwa al hayyu qayyum. La ta khudhu sinatu wa la nom. La huma fi samawati wa ma fi al-ar. Man al the thirst to have a viral clip on social media is undeniably present as Fusi tries getting other people's attention. 7.8 million, I signed a 77 million dollar cake brand deal today, just from my live stream. Right. Just arrested the most famous man in the very world. In today's world of social media, many folks are ready to do just about anything to become famous online. They might try crazy stunts, wild challenges, or in Fusi's case, call the cops on himself. I'm sticking a knife through his chest, I'm, I'm slicing it down to his...